really like about Spring is that I feel like there's a developer in my uh, sitting in back of me. It's not rocket science. You can actually take a look at the code and sort of understand what it's doing. There's a lot of pieces to like. Uh, I really like uh, Rails and Groovy. They, uh, you know, they make you just very, very productive. And obviously, it, it shortens our development time because it provides so much out of the box. Uh, two, I think for our junior developers, it's an absolutely great learning tool. Just just the, the ability to cut out tons of redundant code that I've written this before, you know, in the 2002 to 2005 time frame where, you know, you have to write the boilerplate code for, you know, executing uh, JDPC calls and, and then, you know, doing the, the programmatic catching and cleanup of the uh, uh, connections and things of that nature. You don't have to worry about any of that with with. Uh, you know, with with the Spring JDBC, same things with you know with Spring JMS as well. The, the 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 glue that Spring provides. My favorite part is is the kind the wiring that Spring provides. And we we actually so yesterday we had that uh, talk in the in the technical keynote about EJBs and how Spring does that. We actually lived through that. We moved from EJBs to Spring, and we are kind of. Uh, we have ninety percent of our of our applications now now Spring. Lately, my favorite part has been the Spring three point one profiles. Uh, it's really a great way to help me to organize my Spring configuration and uh, be able to separate out my configuration for the different places that I run my application and development and testing and integration testing and production. The fact that you can look at the source of what's going on behind the scenes and understand what JDBC template is doing, things like that. You can learn so much from the, the patterns that, that are in Spring Core. I think my favorite part of Spring is probably the Spring MVC framework, especially the annotation-driven uh, improvements that are added in, in 2.5. Whenever I get to a point where I'm developing something and I go, I wish the framework did this, and I uh, type in an object name and hit dot, um, all of a sudden, I've got a method to do it. And... Uh, I feel like there's this developer who who knows what I'm thinking. Um, our products work beautifully well with um, with uh, Spring integration, and uh, we basically follow the money, and that's that's where it's going at the moment. 